guess. All right, here's a little tour of my element for all you guys on the element owners groups and whatnot. I'm gonna open everything up so it's easier to see. So I purpose built this because I live on the road eight days on, six days off. Uh, I needed something that had all my priorities. So I wanted power inverter, needed a shower because I get pretty stinky on the road. And uh, yeah, an emergency toilet. But that's just for emergencies, just a camp toilet is all I'm going to be using. So anyways, just a quick tour in here. Everyone asks about the seat, how it's reversed. It doesn't swivel yet. That's going to be a future project. Um, all I did was you have to uh, grind off a couple nipples on the slides, slide them off, swap them to the other side, reassemble them, which is kind of a pain. There's little clips with bearings that you got to get back in there on each side. Uh, it takes a little patience, but it's not hard. Then to level out the seat, this front side has washers underneath the bolt. It kind of levels it out better. Um, it still slides and I can still use this functionality. When I pull the slide on the front, I, I undid the spring that makes it automatically slide or when you fold this down where it would automatically slide. So everything stays in place. Um, still have a little bit of storage up here, work stuff down there. I've got a camp stove, butane stove. So that's how I did the seat and I'm going kind of quick here. This is not going to be a detailed tour. Um, kind of ran out of time. I got to hit the road off to work. So, but just see, uh, see how things work. The cabinets, they're a pain in the butt because you have to scribe the walls and get everything to fit nice into the walls. I started with my vertical, the vertical walls of that cabinet. Underneath, I built a support because that's my battery bank in the bottom left corner, the rear driver side. Um, then everything else, the shelves are just held in with cleats. So that's pretty basic, pretty easy to do. Um, got the front put on. That was all, had, had to cut it by hand. I didn't have a router, kind of just rounded the edges. Uh, holds everything in pretty good. And you can see I'm packed up right now for eight days on the road. So I've got at least nine or 10 days of clothing, food. Um, my last upgrade here is the fridge. It's just an Alpacool 50 liter fridge. Holds a ton of stuff and it works great. Hardly uses any power on my solar. Got my solar set up with switches. Everything is fused. Um, just right behind there inside that cabinet, I've got a, a fuse block that's uh, It's got the negative terminals also the bus bar. So everything is wired to that everything runs through fuses um, In the ceiling there it gets a little hot here. I'm, I'm working in Arizona. I live in Arizona So I put in that fan. It's just a six inch fan um, Draws air out of here. You just pop it up by hand drop it back down um, So yeah, that's basically my setup um, now the bed here, you can see it's pretty short when it's not folded out at night. Uh, it's really easy to pop open. Just lift it up. Got legs down here. Gives you the level surface and it's sturdy. And then I've got a cushion that's already cut. It's got uh, just a pillowcase on it that matches the sheets. Put that on the end. And usually when I have my, my bed done at night, I'll wrap this underneath. Holds everything in place so the cushion doesn't slide off. And that is five foot nine inches. Um, you can see here there's plenty of room for a taller person, but I'm only 5'3", so it works great. Um, so that's how I would do the bed at night. I've got a 20 gallon water tank underneath. I did cut this, slot this open so that I could see my water level. Because um, now everything's enclosed. I've got all these walls done, built in. So let me pull this down real quick. That's all there is to the bed. Just pop it out, put it back down. Gives me lounge room. You can see for me, it's plenty of room here. You can kick up your legs. My wife likes to sit in here all the time. She thinks it's the coolest hangout spot there is. So let's go to the other side and I'll show you the shower. And I'm not gonna set up the curtains. I, I don't have time right now. I open this up just so you can see everything. I've walled it all in. Uh, the back corner here has my water pump and that's where the tubing runs for my shower sprayer which I'm going to show you now how you set up. And I've got this bed, bed notch, so you can pull out this part. And I don't know where my, there it is. I just use the little bungee right here to hold this open while I shower. But it's got just this cover right here, comes off. And I'm eventually going to make that like a pallet style so I can stand on it when I shower outside underneath the rear hatch. Just get that out of the way. This folds up. 
got a little hook and there you can see see the shower basin i've got two sets of curtains in here that's what these rods up here are for so when i'm going to shower inside just hang the curtains here goes all the way around sprayer sits up here and it's adjustable wherever i need it and it's got an automatic shut off so it's an on-demand pump so whenever i hit that switch um, she goes and that pump is also hooked up to a switch there on the front um, the other option i have for showering is back here you can see i've got these hanging up and i just use it as a temporary but same thing i've got a, a longer curtain and i can hang it from here all the way around and if it's windy it's kind of hard i've got a better design i, I found i kind of figured up for a shower back here but for now it works great it goes around and then i've just got this to use out here i do have a hook for it where it can hang on any one of these locations if i need to and i do need to get a longer hose but a lot of people have questions about the shower like i said i'm only 5'3 so if i sit in here it's good for bird baths this is totally enclosed nothing gets wet none of the wood gets wet and uh you know, it is kind of a tight space for a taller person, which is why I built this also. It's really nice to shower outside, but when I'm in uh, rural areas, you know, I, who needs a curtain? Just get outside and shower off. It's, it's pretty fun. So anyways, that's, the, that's a quick, quick video of the shower setup. I've got my bathroom supplies here. I built this shelf, shelf on purpose like this so that when I do shower out here, uh, my soap and everything can go up on this shelf. Uh, within easy reach. So yeah, let's put this back together. Just pops right, right back in. Bed goes in place. And then this is taller, so the lip right here hold, helps hold this cushion in place. So I don't have a problem with it at night coming off or, or moving around. This is where I sleep with my head anyways, right here. And I've got comfortable living, so. Um, you can see it's the storage gives a lot, um, especially where it backs into the window right there. That's a lot of wasted space. That's why I, pr I built this like I did. Uh, dimensions, it just depends on what you want. You can go wider, you can go slimmer. But you can see I have well over a foot and a half in between there of walkway. So that is basically my little RV, my little camper for the road. It's got a... Uh, the solar setup is one of the earlier things I did, but I wanted it to be stealth. That's the whole purpose of this vehicle. I can park anywhere it's stealth. So I, I made custom aluminum racks and built it between those racks. I, I'm still going to paint the edges of this panel black. And you can't even tell. It just looks like a rack. It doesn't look like anything's up there. So so that's the build. Um, enjoy. I can do, if you have any questions, message me. Um, like I said, I can do a more detailed video, but I got to hit the roads. So and it's hot out here, so thank you.